this is a tricky problem. I'm not sure how your teachers teach this. So I'm going to teach you the algebraically, I think, correct way of doing it. To, to find out the limit to infinity, you can divide everything by x. This is what your teacher was saying by crossing out numbers. If I divide everything by x, it's like doing that and doing that. And then dividing this. If I divide inside the square root, I'm not really dividing by x. Because really, dividing by x, x is the same thing as the square root of x squared. Exactly. So why would they? So I'm so I'm dividing by x squared on the inside of these things. Let that sink in for a second. Does that make sense? Dividing by x is the same as dividing by the square root of x squared. That's how I got the x inside oh. here. Oh. So she's never taught us that. Well, again, I don't know how your teachers teach you. That's why I'm asking. So. What, then what this turns into is the limit as x goes to infinity of these cancel and you just get a square root of 5. This is just minus, what is 6 divided by x as x goes to infinity? What's anything divided by? Oh, it? infinity. It, no. Mm. What's anything divided by infinity? Infinity? No. Negative infinity? No. Something Zero. very small. Because if the bottom is humongous and the top <laughs> is just some number, what's six divided by a trillion? It's a very tiny number. It's a very tiny number. In other oh. words, this thing is going to zero. That's a key concept in mm -hmm. this whole unit. Mm -hmm. So what this turns into is just zero, five minus zero. Mm -hmm. And this, the x's cancel. And it's 3 minus 5 over infinity is what? Zero. 0. So it's just the square root of 5 over 3. But isn't that just an estimate to say it's going towards zero? It's not an estimate. It's not an estimate. I would have gone it's the limit. That's what a limit oh. means. So that's it, it's okay. kind of like saying an estimate, but it's not an estimate. It actually is equal to that. So then if you were solving it like y or something, you wouldn't be able to put zero, right? Say that one more time. Like if you were solving it, if it wasn't a limit, but you were actually like solving it, and you put like zero like that, would then that be incorrect? Yeah, if you were solving, yeah, it's solving it's a little bit different, yeah. Okay. It's a different kind of a problem. Okay, we're talking about limits right now. So what I would have done is I would have crossed out the six and the five, and then I would have had under root five, and then I would have had regular x over, I don't know who puzzle this is, um, over uh, 3x. So then I would have wrote it as under root 5 over 3, which is the same answer you got. Square root. Oh, it's under root. It's the same thing. Square root? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just, yeah. Is that your own word? No, it was just a British English thing. It is, really? Are you British? I think so. No, my parents don't. They use under, they yes. say under root. They say weird things, and I say weird things. It's, yeah. Do they have British accents? No, they're Indian. They just oh. pronounce, they have British English. Gotcha. Yeah. Ben yeah. has a British accent. That's funny. Really? No, he doesn't. You have to have a very trained ear to hear it. 